Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at three questions from the percentages worksheet. Okay, in this particular question we're going to be looking at number four, which is to calculate 135% of 140. Okay, so we know that 100% of 140 is 140, so therefore what we've got to do is work out that additional 35%. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say, well actually, I know that 10% of 140 is going to be equal to 14. Now the reason I know that is because what I've done is move the decimal point one place. Also, I can then use that to calculate 5%, because if I know 10%, then 5% must be half of it. So therefore, 5% of 140 is going to be 7. And I can use these numbers now to calculate the full 135%. So 100% is going to be equal to 140. Now 10% is 14, but basically I want 30%. So therefore, if I multiply 14 times 3, that's going to give me 30%, and that's going to be 42. So 30% equals 42 and then finally I've got 5% which is going to equal to 7 and if I add all of those together I'm going to get a grand total of 189 and that would be the answer to that particular question. So even though most times percentages usually tend to be less than the number, if it's more than the number, then just add that extra 100%. Okay, let's move on then to the next question, which is question number seven. So question number seven is a slightly different way of asking uh, percentage type questions. And what we've got here is there are men and women at a concert. And it says there's 350 men and 30% of the people at the concert are female. Okay, because so if you've got 350 men and 30% of the attendees are female, then it means that those 350 men must be equal to 70% of the number of people at the concert. Okay, so that means we can write that as 350 equals 70%. If we know that, we also then, if we divide by seven, it's going to give us 10%. So if we divide 350 by seven, I'm going to get a big bond seven, I'm gonna get 50. OK, and then if I know that 50 is equal to 10 percent, if I multiply that by 10 again, I'm going to get 100 percent, which is the question that I'm looking to answer. OK, so all I need to do is multiply that 50 by 10 and that's going to give us 500 people. So hopefully that's been useful to you. Let's look at the final question in this particular worksheet, the hardest sort of percentage type question that you're going to need to come across. Okay, so with this, we've got uh, a comparison of two different shops. So the first one is going to be uh, the scooter shop, and then the second one is going to be shopping for scooters. So 5% discount of 399. Well, you know that 10%, um, as we did before, is going to equal £39.90. So therefore, 5% is going to be half of that £39.90, which is going to be 19 pounds 95 okay and you can calculate that so therefore scooter shop is going to be a discount of 19 pounds 95 which means that the total price is going to be 399 pounds minus 19 pounds 95 take one away from the other and i'm going to get 379 pounds and 5p and that would be the cost from scooter shops so let's look at the website shopping for scooters okay which is a slightly different pricing model so with shopping for scooters Okay, we've got, if I just put sss.co.uk, shopping for scooters. Well, we know, as we said, 10% is equal to £39.90. I'm going to take that away from the £399 for the cost of the scooter. Okay, and that's going to give me a total price of £359.10p. However, with a lot of these internet companies, there's a delivery charge, so we've got to add that £12 on top. So if we add the £12 on top, that's going to give us plus 12 
is going to give us a total price at shopping for scooters of 371 and 10. So actually, even though we've got that delivery charge, it's still slightly cheaper to use the website in this particular case, not always. Okay, hope that's been useful to you. Please do uh, add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.